Welcome back, Griddle Cook Eat More. Today it's stir fry time. I started a Facebook group called uh, Halo's Elite, Halo Elite Griddles and More, uh, basically uh, for Halo griddle owners. There wasn't a group out there yet. There was a, kind of a general Halo, Halo uh, cookers or group fan page. Halo also makes uh, pizza ovens and uh, pellet smokers. So, plus they make the griddles. So kind of made one for that. Anyways, on that group, I uh, asked, uh, you know, hey, what, you, what would you like to guys see in a video? So I uh, had multiple people uh, and some other people actually chimed in in other places wanting to see a stir fry. So that's what we're gonna do. Never done a stir fry on my channel. So sounds good. I like stir fry, something I don't know for whatever reason. I just never think about doing, but I know other people do a ton of it on, on the griddle because it's perfect for it. So what better than the Halo uh, with its uh, super heat? So pretty excited to do it. Um, so, if you got a Halo Griddle and you're watching this and don't know about my Facebook group, check out uh, Halo Elite Griddles and more. Just look that up on Facebook. Uh, join it up, so that'd be awesome. But uh, let's check out what we're working with. Vegetable-wise, I got uh, green bell peppers, red bell peppers, onions, and carrots in there. Uh, I do kind of bite-sized, bigger pieces on it. Um, you can cut them up how you want, just try to keep them even. Um, I'm not going to use any rice or uh, noodles with it, so you can also throw this over rice or throw noodles in it if you want on there. Um, more eating it a little more keto style, a uh, little bit that way, so still have some carbs. Uh, the sauce I'm using, which I'll show you, has some, uh, some carbs in it. Uh, other than that, I got uh, had some sliced mushrooms already, so we're going to use that. Uh, did some, uh, sliced up some green onions and uh, got some um, Oh, I can't even think of the name of it right now. It's throwing my mind. Bean sprouts. So, bean sprouts. That's what I got. Uh, and for steak, I got flank steak. I tossed that in a little bit of oil and seasoned up with all-purpose seasoning. So that's what we're going to do for the steak. Um, you can marinate that. Uh, like if you weren't going to do a, uh, this is good, kind of doing a sauce with everything. We're going to add this incorporated sauce to the end. So that's why I'm just going to kind of sear it off in some oil uh, with some all-purpose on there. Uh, because at the end, we're going to combine it with a sauce. Uh, so for the sauce, we're going to do a brown sauce. So over here, um, this little concoction here, I got I got a half a cup of chicken broth. And what I did for chicken broth, I used a chicken bouillon in there. Uh, I got this Nord's uh, caldo de pollo or something like that. It's really good stuff. Uh, it's got two-thirds cup of soy sauce, a third cup of rice wine vinegar. It's also got about three tablespoons of uh, sugar in it and a, uh, about a tablespoon or so of sesame oil and a dash of uh, white pepper. Uh, so that's our, our liquid there. Uh, before we throw the liquid in the pot, we're going to throw in uh, some oil and we're going to uh, saute off some garlic, fresh garlic and fresh ginger, uh, about a half tablespoon each. Uh, then we got some cornstarch and we got some water we'll add to it to make our slurry, which we're going to use to thicken that up. So, got the old pan over here. We're going to try, I haven't cooked on a pan yet in the, on the Halo, so we got that going on. I got these two burners cranked up right now on high. Um, we're going to get the other ones going here in a second because uh, once I get that sauce rolling, we're going to go ahead and get the steak done first. When that's all done, we're going to pull that off, pull the steak off. Super hot all the way across. Uh, throw all the veggies down and get them seared up and we'll kind of go through that. So. That's it, uh, give it a second for this thing to get heat up and get hot. Uh, looks like it's already starting to smoke over there, so we're close. So I'll bring you back when we uh, start getting this sauce going. All right, grill's getting hot here, so let's get, to, let's get our sauce going. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our ginger and garlic down. I'm gonna get that sauteed up. So far it looks like the Griddle does a good job. I can feel that heat. Just want to saute that for just a little bit, not too much. Kind of get that garlic fragrant. Release some oils and goods in there, and we'll be in the money. All right, let's add in our juice. All right, that's hot. All right, let's get some steak going down. So we're sitting 
pushing 600 degrees right now on there. So I think that's going to be good for a nice sear on the steak. All right, let's get that steak down. We're going to throw a little bit of uh, canola down. Get that spread around. Get this seared up real nice, so we'll pull that steak off. Get that sauce boiling, get that thickened up with a little slurry, and we'll be ready to stir fry. Take a peek of that, oh yeah. Already getting a nice crust on there. Look at that beautiful crust. Look at that beautiful crust right there. All right, we slide over here. Starting to get that boil on, so we're gonna start getting our slurry ready. Steak's gonna be done just in a second, so we're gonna get that pulled off. All right, I think the steak is money. Get that off. Oh, man. Looking good. Looking good. All right, I got my slurry here. Get that nice and dissolved. Bit in there. All right, starting to thicken a little bit. A little more. Oh yeah, amazing! Right there. I can see a nice. Consistency there, nice brown sauce, perfect. I got that sauce ready, so uh, let's get ready to rock out some uh, rock out some veggies and put this thing all together. Time to rock and roll. Get some oil down. First we're gonna go with our big veggies. Get a little more oil on them. So, I don't want them soft. I want them still to have some crisp to them. A little char on them, kind of like that steak. So we need to keep them moving. We're at 600. Yeah, 555, 550, 600 degrees. You can feel the heat on this thing. All right, now let's get some uh, mushrooms down. Now Halo does make a little thing that you can cover your grease trap with, so I don't have one yet. I probably need to get one, because uh, It's really easy to shoot it in there and doing this. Just a little bit more oil there. Right, let's add our bean, bean sprouts. Get some green onions in there. Hell, let's throw it all in there. Get our steak back in. A little more drizzle of oil on there. I like oil. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut this griddle off because it's got some killer heat retention. Let's get our sauce. Oh yeah. Start with that.
Gonna hold my veggies. Get a little more sauce on there. I don't know if you can hear me over the over this griddle. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Right there. All right, I think we're good. All right, let me get a few pics of this here, and then uh, it'll be time to give it a try. All right, we're ready to roll, ready to eat here. So, got my big old platter there. I can see it in there, but yeah, here we go. Let's give it a try. I think first we're gonna go with the nice piece of flank steak there. Should cut across the grain, that way it's nice, fairly tender. Good there. I'll also put some uh, sesame seeds on top of the little garnish. Give this little pepper a try. That's good stuff right there. Uh, I don't know why I don't make it more often, but I don't. But I did this time. Halo did a wonderful job. I love that heat. The heat retention and throw that stuff down. It's that good old barrel cool down. It stays hot here. You can see it how it did on that on that plank stick. A lot different from my other griddles, uh, for sure. I got a Woco, got a Blackstone, so those are yeah, both decent griddles. Uh, they got the place, but uh, the Halo, man, it's a it's it's a beast for sure. So, but that's it for stir fry. Um, that's a simple recipe. Uh, ground sauce. I mean, there's just so many options to stir fry. Pick how many vets, what vegetables you like. You want to throw noodles in it. Lots of different noodles you can throw in there. Uh, you want to throw it over rice. However you want to do it, uh, it's up to you. But uh, one thing I know for sure is the Halo does a good job making it. So that's it for now. Until next time, I'm out.